right? So there's stuff coming up on the situation display right there. See them right there, so I'm going to get out of nav mode, air-to-air to air mode. Turn on my master arm switch here. Right now I'm I'm set for aim sevens. Boat switch to switch to Bravos. Boat switch to switch to the aim sevens up there. I'm gonna go to stick with Bravos. Or right, I'm gonna stick with aim sevens for this engagement. Go back to the situation display. I lock the first one. Auto acquisition forward to go into TWS mode. But Fully switch up to switch between the two of them. As you can see, it's very hard to see two of them that are three now. Three are moving now. I get the, the leading one using my cursor and switch in. See if I could switch two. There it is. It's one of them. Right now, pause it here. Right now, this is the the, the dynamic launch zone, like in the F-16. Right here is the range, 47.7 miles. This is the closure rate between me and uh, whatever I'm locked onto, so 890 knot closure rate. Right now it has a uh, aspect of 17L. That means it's just about coming toward me, but I could see the left side of its its uh, its aircraft from this angle. So it's a little bit uh, to my left by like 10 degrees, but for the most part it's hot. So this first line here is R pi. In short and layman terms, basically it means it's the maximum range you could shoot the missile as long as you're heading straight for it. This next thick line is RTR, turn and run. Signifies the maximum launch range where engaged target initiate a evasive maneuver turning away from the missile and still get hit. This assumes that the target will not accelerate or change directions. And this bottom one is the minimum range to be able to shoot. The circle here will get larger as you get closer to to uh, in range, the larger it is, the better the shot is. This will also change with your speed and your altitude of both you and the target that you're locked onto. Go ahead and unpause it here. But I do have the aim seven selected. I am going to have to. I'm, I am target locked, being that the the carrot down here is not moving, and it's fixated on the bandit on the uh, lock target there. I'm gonna turn in on it to make sure I'm able to intercept it. Seems like he's turning, so I'm going to unlock here and see what's going on. Lock one of them, going to STT, so they're all still, they're starting to turn now. Oh, seems like they're starting to move forward. I'll lock this first one up, MiG-21. 34 miles. Now he's hot on me now. Turning toward him, you can see him in the HUD, that little box there. It's 30 miles. 1100 knot closure. It's getting closer to this first line here. Same thing on here as the our opt there. Yeah, the circle is getting larger. There's, this is the maximum range that I could shoot it, so I'm going to shoot it here. There's Fox 1. I'm going to offset to rank. I have to keep my lock on it because it's a Fox 1. There's the time to impact here. He turned around, so it's probably not going to hit him. Keep my lock on him. Keep my lock. The other bandits are coming in. My number 2 going to send him to go out. Got one. Unlock. Looking down here. A couple more bandits there. Seems like they're all turning around, starting to turn around. I'm going to use one of my Fox 3s. Boat switch forward. Lock on to this aft one here. It's actually going away from me. I'm actually within range. See right here? The uh, past R. RTR, so I'm going to Fox. Only 10 miles away, so should be able to, to hit him. I'm going to crank to the right here. I don't actually
actually need to keep on him. So my wingman shot down that bandit there. I'm still going after the one that's way back there. 11 seconds. Turning around, 6 seconds, 5, 4. And there's a splash. That's a quick little review of what it looks like doing BVR in the F-15 and BMS.